What's going on, y'all? Have you ever wondered why some people gain muscle faster than others, or why some people can't lose fat, or why some people just stay stick thin? I'm about to get into that today. So we have three different somatotypes. And so a somatotype basically just means a different body type. And so everybody's gonna be a combination of those three, right? So it's gonna be either an endomorph, an ectomorph, or a mesomorph, okay? And so each of these are gonna have big implications on how you diet, how you train, and what sport you play. So if you are a endomorph, for example, Typically, you're not just one specific body type. It's going to be a combination, right? But endomorphs typically are what you would call bigger boned, right? They're your bigger individuals. So think like your linemen, uh, maybe your heavyweight wrestlers, things like that. Whereas an ectomorph would be your more long, slender, uh, let's call it maybe a, a runner, right? If you're a pure ectomorph, a long distance runner. Whereas if you are a mesomorph, maybe that is your, say, a skill player in football perhaps. So someone that's a little bit more muscle bound. Um, and then going back to ectomorph, those are going to have a little bit longer segments, right? So longer arms, longer legs. So what does this mean? What does this do for us? How can we use this information? So we already talked about it a little bit, but with sports selection type. So I know this isn't going to inhibit and nor do I want it to inhibit anybody from doing what they want to do. It just basically helps people at things that they may excel more at. So if you're bigger, a little bit stronger, you gain muscle very easily, you're gonna be probably better in a contact sport. Whereas if you are an ectomorph, right? So you're very long, very thin, probably not gonna be the best in a, in a contact sport. Maybe better in an individual type of sport, right? Same thing with, with the mesomorph. So kind of just put that into whatever category and see if it fits if you're trying to choose your sport based on body type. So moving forward, right? Regardless of body type, say you decided your sport, how do we optimize ourselves for that? So now we can talk about diet a little bit. So if you are a mesomorph, high muscle, right? You're gonna need a lot of protein. So actually all the body types are gonna need a lot of protein if you're an athlete, just as a, as a bottom line, but they're gonna have a little bit more higher protein requirements. Whereas an ectomorph, probably medium endomorph, right? Would probably be high as well because we want to maximize lean mass and we wanna minimize that fat mass. And so now if we go into training types, so everyone's going to get a different response from training. So say the mesomorph, say they even look at a weight, they're going to gain five pounds of muscle potentially, right? Whereas the ectomorph, you can train, 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 you can gain some muscle, but you're not going to ever be that Mr. Olympia set type person, okay? Um, whereas the endomorph, maybe they struggle a little bit more with their weight, and so that's going to really go back to diet, right? So we're going to have to be dialed in on the macronutrients. So carbs are going to have to be a little bit lower for them, right? They're probably the type that if they even look at a French fry, maybe they gain some weights. Uh, so we're going to have to optimize their diet, higher protein intake, lower carbs, things like that. And so now we're adjusting based on our body type and based on our sport as well. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, like, comment, and share. If you want to get involved more, you can go ahead and stay connected via Instagram at Juka underscore Elite Performance. If you're looking for training, go ahead and click the link in the bio on Instagram.